The train, for its type, is the most powerful vehicle on land. And the engines of Sodor are the power behind the docks, industries and branch lines that make up the world-renowned Northwestern Railway. These are the stories of Sodor. Absurd! Why do I keep breaking down, Robert? It looks like there's a defect in the manifold of your cooling system. How we missed it the last time, I don't know. But I promise we'll... Excuse me, Mr. Hall. There's a telephone call for you. Take a message. I'm busy. The caller said it was urgent. They're from Wellsworth Realty. I say, what about me? Ugh, there goes the integrity of the modern workforce. So you got it? Well done, Rob. How do you feel? Oddly... serene. What do you mean by that? I used to live in that house when I was a boy. My mother died there. When I heard it was up for sale, I decided to visit out of morbid curiosity. I didn't know what to expect, but I was stunned that I felt... happy. All of my best memories come from that place, so I decided to put in an offer. Now it's mine. Well, congratu- What was that? I don't know, it sounds like it came from Brendam. Perhaps someone's having a dockside celebration. No, no, if there was a party, I would have heard about it. Has the day finally come where something slipped by, you Terence? Bite your tongue. I must say, it's a beautiful sunset. Except the sun went down ages ago. And that's south, not west. FIRE! Come on, chaps, we better head down. They might need all hands. How is he, sir? Not good, but Mr. Hall and his men are doing their best to save him. Then we have nothing to worry about. After what they did for Barry... Barry didn't have a petrol tanker blow up in his face. Ugh, bloody Benson. If he wasn't already dead, I'd kill him. You'd have to get behind me first. All right, engine, settle down. I understand your feelings, but we need to focus. We have a lot of work to do to repair the damage done here. On that note, take extra care when hauling away any scrap. Not just run exploded ordnance, but body parts. Body parts? Yes, Benson wasn't the only one who died. A number of dock workers and naval personnel were caught in the blast. How many? Last I heard, 23. Jesus Christ, I'm almost afraid to ask what next. Here's an idea. Don't.
He's still touch and go. How's the investigation coming? Slowly. We're having a lot of difficulty trying to figure out how all this started. No offense, Derek, but there isn't much mystery. Benson banged those trucks, blowing half the docks to hell and killing 35 men. 35? That's what it's up to. Fizzling fireboxes. Rest in pieces, Benson, you miserable bastard. Percy! No, Toby. I don't care if it's in poor taste to badmouth the dead. That khaki cad caused all this and put my best friend in the works. And the worst part is, he won't pay for it. He got off easy. Benson, stay, stay back. back! That, that train, train is unsafe! Is unsafe. Do, Do not, not give, give me orders. orders! If I want to move, I'll... What? How'd that happen? Hi, how did it? What was that, Toby? I don't think Benson was responsible. How can you say that? You saw him bump that train! A train that was on track one, but it was the vans on track two that started burning. Oh my god, you're right! They were directly in front of you and me, Bruce! You had to have seen it! Uh, uh... Yeah, I did. But why did they only start burning after Benson bumped that train? It could have been a coincidence. Regardless, we should report this to Mickey. He's at the scrapyard processing the wreckage. I see. That would square with our findings. The blast did seem to emanate from a point more towards the center of the pier, but I doubt we'll ever be able to determine how it started. Why not? If there was any evidence, it would have been destroyed. Well, at the risk of pointing fingers, the factory at Krosny Kern does have a history of mishandling munitions. Perhaps we should send some people up to... What's that? Why Brown! Clear out! Move back, lads! Ah, damn it! My valve kit is jammed! I'll get him! Stay put, Toby! I've got this! Mickey, what are you doing? Move! No. Please tell me he's going to be all right, sir. He will be, Henry. Donald suffered only minor damage. He'll be out of the works in a few days. We have Mickey to thank for that. It took real bravery to make such a sacrifice. Indeed, we lost a true legend today. What about Thomas, sir? How's he doing? I spoke to Mr. Hall while I was at the works. He told me that Thomas did not survive his injuries. What? I'm sorry, Percy, but our number one is gone. What's going to happen to his remains, sir? The scrapyard at Kildane is closed until further notice, and the one at Barrow is still overloaded. Therefore, his body will be transported to Barry Island in Wales. Francis will be taking him there tomorrow as part of a long-distance goods train to Cardiff. I'd like to be there, sir, to say goodbye. Of course. Anyone else who wants to pay their respects may do so as well. Don't worry about any scheduling conflicts. I'll deal with that. Did he suffer? No, he was unconscious most of the time. We also made sure he was filled to the brim with green water. That's good. <laughs> you know, the first time I met Thomas, I asked him to help bank me up Gordon's Hill. He was a real cheeky blighter back then and said, All right, but I don't accept Haggis' payment. He was taking the piss, of course, and helped me out even though I was from a rival company. And when I worked on the Farquhar branch, he never hesitated to help whenever my engine failed. He was a good man. So was Mickey. Yes, 
They were... Donald! Donald! Terence, what is it? Sorry to come barging in like this, but I have news about Mr. Zorro's case. The coppers got a match on the bullets that killed him. They traced back to two possible murders. One was against a bloke named Gregory Hall. Wasn't that Rob's uncle? Wait, why did you say two possible murders? The other one is from 1938. The investigators at the time were certain it was a suicide. She was drowning in debt, the bank had just taken her house, and the gun was registered to her husband, who had recently died. But since the weapon was never found, they couldn't say for sure she killed herself. What was her name? Angela Creedy. I was about eight years old when you last saw me. My brother and I watched you go by with the goods train. Our father was the guard. I meant to ask him about his father, but forgot. You mean Michael? There was a porter named Gregory Hall. He became an angry drunk whose wife disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The one time I asked about Aunt Rita, he broke a beer bottle over my head. My father had a service revolt from when he fought in the First World War. It went missing after he died. When I saw you at the works, you looked like you were at death's door. I also had a strange feeling of deja vu. I'm not sure why. What was his name? Michael Creedy. Did he have a family? Aye, a wife and two boys. Son of a bitch! What? I know who's behind this! Donald? What's going on? You! You're Michael Creedy's boy! Yes? Didn't I mention that? Who's Michael Creedy? He was one of our guards back in the day. He died in 1938 after a faulty signal caused Henry to crash into the back of my train. Mighty odd coincidence we both had accidents the same year you arrived. Do you blame us for killing your father? Was Jeffrey just in the wrong place at the wrong time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down, Donald. You're acting balmy. No, I don't blame you or anyone else. I know what happened to my father was an accident. Did you also know the gun that killed your mother, uncle and Mr. Zorro belonged to your father? Yes, I did. The coppers told me after I told them about my father's gun. What Terence said made me wonder, so I reported my suspicion to the police. I was shocked about my uncle and Mr. Zorro, and I'll admit, I hated them both. My uncle because he beat me and my brother every chance he got, and Mr. Zorro for not compensating my mother. I think I know why. Around the time of that accident, he discovered our chief accountant was embezzling from the railway. Wait, he wasn't lying? Who wasn't? Mr. Zorro. I saw him at Kildane the day Peter died. I told him who I was. I wanted to know why he didn't pay my mother. He told me about the account. I thought he was lying, so I told him to sod off. But you're saying he wasn't? No, it took months to straighten out our finances. Sounds like you had a strong motive to kill him, but I have an even stronger alibi. I was at the scrapyard all night breaking down Peter's remains. When you derailed, I was here supervising the repairs of the coaches that had been vandalized. I was also here when Henry crashed. We had just brought in Barry. Didn't you see me? Fizzling fireboxes. I did. And I suppose if you wanted him dead, you wouldn't have bothered trying to save him. What about the explosion at Brendam? A mechanically minded man like you would surely be able to do something. No, I wouldn't. I don't know anything about munitions. I swear, I had nothing to do with any of this. I don't want revenge on anyone. I'm not that type of man. Your brother! Oh, God. And just like that, it was over. No justice, no retribution, and only a tentative sense of closure. Sean Creedy didn't leave behind a note, so it was unclear how much of Sodor's hardships were his fault. However, the weapon he used on himself was matched to the homicides of Mr. Zorro and Gregory Hall. He likely had something to do with the disaster at Brendam Docks, since one of his earlier jobs was working demolitions in a quarry. As an aside, the final count from that calamity was 56. Needless to say, Robert denounced his brother, calling him a murderer, a lunatic and so much worse. There were whispers he might have been complicit in his twin's crimes, but these were never proven. He was able to weather these rumors and enjoyed a long, prosperous life on Sodor. 
In that time, he would marry a wonderful woman who gave him two beautiful daughters. Things would get better for us, though it was a hard road to recovery. We were very happy to see the end of 1965, and I'm pleased to say the years ahead were much brighter and filled with many changes. But those are stories for another day.